morning, everyone. Uh, it's uh, 9.08. I'm sorry I'm a little late, but I was on a Zoom call. Uh, I'll get to this quickly. Okay, uh, futures are up strongly. They were all over the place last night. Uh, when they opened at 6 o'clock, the S&P was down as much as 45. It is now up 31. Uh, and it has been, at best, erratic. Uh, the Dow uh, is up about 212, which is okay. Uh, NASDAQ is up about 120. Um, frankly, none of these, as nice as it is to come in Monday morning and see a rally, none of these really makes a dent in what happened last week. I mean, the Dow up, uh, you know, 200 and change is less than a third of what we were down just on Friday. Okay, so let's get to the things that everybody wants to know about. Uh, Robinhood, Reddit, uh, Silver. Um, this is kind of interesting uh, from my perspective. It's more than interesting. We are already long uh, the SLV uh, in the big account back from $15 or so. It's trading almost double that. Uh, Hecla, which we've been in seemingly forever with a price of about $6 and change uh, is sharply higher. And AG, which is uh, majestic, and AG, by the way, is their symbol. It's also the uh, periodic table symbol <laughs> for uh, silver is uh, trading 25 up 6, 37 um, percent. Most people won't understand exactly uh, what they can or cannot do with silver from these uh, forums and such. Um, it's a much bigger market than the market for AMC or, uh, you know, any of the other GameStops. Um, it's an actual commodity, and it has been in an uptrend and uh, has been performing uh, actually fairly stronger than gold. Uh, the example, this is the chart on the screen, is the silver. And uh, I'll take it out a little bit here on a weekly basis so you can see really what it's done. I mean, we are making a new recovery high here uh, and it has come from as low as $11 less than a year ago at the low but the average price is probably here in the $16, $17 area. Uh, we have moved all the way up to uh, $29.60 right now with a high of a shade over $30. Um, I'll show you the gold just as a comparison so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the gold is up about 14, I believe now 17. Uh, but the gold is not nearly as strong as the silver has been. Uh, you know, silver is up here uh, and gold is still down here. Uh, the silver has been running well ahead of the gold. Uh, the other thing is that in order for gold to make a new high, we're talking about, uh, let's just use round numbers. We're talking about 18, uh, let's call it 1850. 1850 up to 2100 is two and a half dollars. That's, you know, basically uh, less than a 30% move. A 20% move here would take this to a new high. Whereas the silver has an old high that is closer to the $50 range. So silver can actually almost double before it gets anywhere near its long-term high. Here's a high at 50 bucks, 50 bucks in April of 2011. So basically 10 years ago, but you know, we can almost double from here without making a new high, uh, which seems very attractive if you look at uh, all of the futures together. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, silver is kind of a poor man's gold, whereas 
as uh, you might have the, the everyday individual, especially during the pandemic, um, you know, may not be able to spend $1,900 for a gold coin, but he can drive up to any little coin shop and for two or three hundred dollars feel like he's participating and know that you know that can easily double i ran a contest uh, last year where i gave everyone the five winners a new silver dollar i think they cost me about uh 22 or 23 dollars a piece uh and uh as of Thursday and Friday, they were selling for thirty-one hundred, and that doesn't include uh, thirty-one dollars a piece, and that doesn't include uh, the ten percent gain today. So there are a lot of reasons why silver can and should outperform gold, uh, and you know I'll look a little bit more into that during the day today and put it in my closing comment. The rest of the market, though, Piper Sandler ups their target on Tesla and not a small update they go from 550 to 1200 dollars a share the stock is uh, you know 250 dollars over that <laughs> that old uh, price objective uh, and right now trading 819 up 26 uh, I mentioned already AG first majestic uh, SpaceX not I'm sorry, I continue to make that mistake. Space S P C E, Virgin Galactic, uh, forty eight fifty five up four and a quarter or nine point six percent on the information that their their uh, flight window looks like it opens on the thirteenth of February, so twelve days from now, and uh, runs for the whole month. I don't know what plans they have. Certainly they could do test flights. I'm not sure whether they're talking about, you know, the commerce side of putting people in one of their uh, flights. And Thermo Fisher beats both top and bottom. Uh, This is a great company, uh, but it's trading at 519 up $9.30 or 1.8%. Again, the uh, futures are due to open up. All of the little uh, silver companies are up anywhere from uh, 30 to uh, 100%. Some of these little ones that I see going by on the tape are literally, uh, you know, $3 up $2.40 or, uh, you know, $5 up two dollars so uh there's a lot of action there uh, and clearly if anybody gets behind anything like this uh you know uh, we it can have a meaningful move but i will remind you that there are very specific sec rules on what they call acting in concert acting in concert is illegal and if they start to see too much success in this area, they will shut it down. All right, everyone, uh, I'll be back later on. And if there's anything to talk about in between, I'll come back. Have a good day. Be careful out there.